yourself, Lise. Esther here with day 20 of my December day by day. Um, well, yesterday I made this one, the wallet, and today I do have to do something with uh, those pockets. So I'm going to take them out and see what we can do today. So put this one aside. I'm also going to take them out of the pockets um, immediately because it's too shiny. So it won't be on my uh, desk all the time. And as you can see, I already prepared a pocket with uh, two of the mats. Uh, these are from the, oh, what are they called? The sets with all, the page fillers. You know, we have them for the um, full-size planner and for the sidekick. These have those lovely uh, dashed borders all the way around. And they do exactly fit the, the pa pocket pages. And what I also did, I'm not sure if you already knew, but the pocket pages have this side uh, where the holes are and uh, it seemed that that one <laughs> that these pockets are open there too on the top that's what um, um, Lisanna figured out so you can slide a very thin piece of paper in there too and then uh, make holes again so this part is also covered just in case you haven't known this yet I wanted to, wanted to tell you okay um, what did I do today? Well, uh, not much. <laughs> we spent uh, almost all day now, <laughs> uh, quite a big part of the day, in looking for colors for our new home. So I did cut out some of those paint swatches from the store, you know, those little pieces which you can get um, at the, the, the paint shop or the, the do-it-yourself shop. Uh, so I was thinking, okay, maybe I can use that. And I did print some pictures of, um, how, I hope you can see them, um, uh, empty cans of paint, which we still have in our house. Uh, but after all day <laughs> spending looking for new colors, we decided we go for approximately the same colors in the new house. But I made some um, pictures of the displays with the paint in the shop. So it's a little bit hard to see because the pictures are not so big, but... Um, for me, that's nice uh, to put in my journal. Um, by the way, I printed them the same size as I did yesterday. So it's four pictures on a, in, in one square uh, element, one square frame. But I do like the size uh, of them. So I thought, okay, I'm just using the same uh, size again. Maybe I will do that uh, for every day now, for the rest of the month. No, I'm not sure yet, but... It does look nice, this, this size, so let me check if I'm cutting it to the right border. Yes, here we go. And one more. And I do like um, the fact uh, of using, uh, well, elements from your daily life um, in a journal in December. I mean, you can't do this whole year through. Well, you can, but then you don't have have to have anything else to do in your life <laughs> no just kidding but um you know it's quite a lot of work doing this every day and for a month it's okay but i wouldn't be able to keep up with this if i had to do this the whole year round so okay four pictures a couple of um paint chips thingies and my day number now as you can see the day number is quite big um, oh, and they are going to be in my journal on top of each other. So it doesn't matter this one up or down. Um, but maybe I think I will go for this. So the color from this card comes back on this side. So that's a start. Then I have pictures. I would love to use all four of them. So this is the paint at home. This is one of the displays in the store. And these two are also from the store. Um, yeah. But what now? What next? Maybe I should make some kind of border over here too. Same element as this. So it's continuing. Now I do have some of those poster stamps. Oh no, these are real postage stamps. The, the wrong ones. I think I do have a box. And uh, where are they? Tickets. I thought I had them. Oh yes, another box. Let's see what's in here. Oh yes, that's the same one I used over here. Can you see? 
Oh, I can use that one. Put something else on top of it, or maybe... Oh, a little bit of red here would be nice too. But I also do have those paint chips, so... Oh, I will put it a little bit closer to myself, so it's better for you to see. Uh, what do I have here? A green one. I do like the red. I'm not sure if there's one more, maybe. Black. These are all empty ones. I can also use an empty one. Oh, here's another one. Green. That might be nice too. I know the, the color green is a little bit different, but that doesn't matter too much. Oh, don't you think it's cute to use those girls on the stamps too? And these are way too big. So I will go for either this one. No, not the red one, because I do like it very much, but uh, I think I need to cover it up with the green, um, the paint bits and pieces, so that's a waste. And this one is very boring. Hmm. Let me think, let me think. You know, using all four pictures is probably too much, <laughs> but I do like them. Oh, okay, I remove one of them. Let me see. Which one is this? Okay, take this one away. So that leaves me with two, three, and maybe I can do something with those paint chips on this side. Maybe tuck them under or something. Let me see. It's just meant to be decorative. Maybe. Something like this. Hmm, it's not really bad. Um, what else can I add? Maybe some twine. Okay, I think <laughs> I have to skip one more picture because that's not going to work. It's too much for only those two. Oh, I can put one here. Just as a detail. Instead of throwing it away. And now I am doubt, in doubt about cutting off those white borders. But then they're all blending in together. So maybe I make them a little bit smaller. So there's just a tiny white border around them. And then try to cut it a little bit nicer than they, they have been cut now. Because I took them out very quickly this afternoon. <laughs> Not sure if I was going to do with it, something with it, but... I think it might be fun. So I have to make them a little bit more um, netjes. How do you say netjes? Cut them properly, I would say. So the, the colors we chose choose are very neutral, earthy tones. And I think those uh, will go really well together. Okay, here we go. This one is a little bit... Okay. So, get rid of this. And I must say, I did like the way it looked when I put them in here. And it doesn't matter which order. Oh, I think it looks quite nice. And it's fun to use uh, some other elements than our regular uh, stuff. So I'm going to apply this one first. I'm going to use a thin piece of double-sided adhesive on one side and also on the other side but before I remove the backing paper I will first glue these down so this one I can apply already there and that gives me the opportunity again to uh, put the other things underneath there so just a little bit of glue on each of them 
and these are going to be in pockets. So, oops, um, you know, they don't have to be uh, glued down that much. Should I put the green one? Something there. So I think I need to move it up a little bit, otherwise it won't fit. <laughs> I do have five of them, so I'm going to use that one over here. Oh, we can put something up here, over here too. And probably this one will cover up everything. No, it is good. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, let me make sure it doesn't stick that well. Ferro and ball. Yeah, I will glue that one down too. It's going to be a full card <laughs> with only some paint chips. But, and I can make a little label here to write something about today. Um, let me see, let me see. Labels, what kind of color do I pick for the labels? Let me see, because yesterday... Was, 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 where is yesterday? Here. So it's green. Oh, a little bit of red. Yes, there is no red in here yet. Only a little bit there. So I'm going to look for my red labels again. If you are looking for red labels, they are um, in in some of the books. <laughs> well, some. I think they were in one or two of the, the Reminiscence books. And otherwise, I also do have them in my Etsy shop. Oh, this one is a little bit off where it's supposed to be. So uh, in my Etsy shop, you can, for example, find those. These are sticker labels. I made them. I make them myself. So. Um, I listed them on Etsy too. Okay, take this away because you see it doesn't stick really well. Did I forget to put glue on one of them? I don't know. Oh. I did use a pen to write something uh, <laughs> and make marks around um, the paint chips. It would have been better if I didn't do so, but okay, it is there. <laughs> okay, it's stuck. Um, a red label. I want something red over there. This is the smaller one. Does that look nice? No, yes. <laughs> I think I can slide it under here. And then I can do some journaling. Okay, let me see if I can get it off. That's always a little bit harder, especially when people are watching <laughs> and you want to remove the backing paper of a sticker, but here it goes. Oh, got it. And now I have to make sure. Oh, it's going to be somewhere here, nice and straight. So that's for one of the pockets. Uh, my day, oh, bummer, my day. No, it's going to be here 20. Or should I? No, I think I'll, I will put the 20 here. And I'm going, just going to um, use my tiny attacher. I will staple it on the top and on the bottom side. And that won't go anywhere anymore. And then I have those two pictures. Yep. Don't want to glue them upside down. I think maybe this is better this way. So there's a lighter part here. And then I think I don't do anything about these anymore because they don't, there's no room for a mat uh, underneath the pictures. And I mean, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh no, it's a little bit shiny. I know where the, there's a big lamp, uh, uh, light lamp 
thing on top of me, but I hope you can see it. Okay, I'll put it a little bit closer to the camera. So when I'm adding a mat underneath those pictures, it's too much, you won't see the, um, the original card anymore. And over here you can see uh, some kind of pocket I made with one of the postage stamps from the postage stamp die, a little um, label for journaling and uh, one of the painting paint displays in the shop. So um, this is going to be, well, I keep it that simple, why not? A little bit simple is also good sometimes, you know? Add two pictures. Oh, I think something, I can add something else. I can do that, I can do that. And I do like that everything has been prepared um, for this month. Otherwise I couldn't have done this, oops. Because preparing a journal for a December daily or a December day by day, it doesn't matter how you want to call it, uh, is always good. It saves you a lot of time every day. And for me, this is the only way uh, to keep up with it. This does look nice, although I now think I need to add some twine. I think I'm going to use the same black one as I did yesterday. Yes, it is still here. Oh, if I can find, where does it open? Oh, here it is. Uh, I can do it on both. I think I'm going to wrap it around both of the cards, just like this. And then tomorrow I will see what I will put on the back side. <laughs> so that's uh, something <laughs> I will see tomorrow. Okay, something like that. And this doesn't have any purpose. It's just a fun, small, decorative extra <laughs> element and I'm trying to make a little knot over here and move them uh, apart a little bit because that always looks nice I think maybe I should add something to it something small let me see let me see if there is something really tiny in here what I can use. Oh, wish list. That's fun, but it's not really a label. Would that mind? Would that matter? No, <laughs> because all these colors of paint are on our wish list. So, and if I add some red um, <laughs> ink, <laughs> let me see. What shall I? Lumberjack plates. I think I do have a red. I don't like to use it as a label as it is because it has three red borders uh, on three sides and not on this side, but doing this just giving me the impression of a complete label. Okay, and then I'm going to punch a small hole in there to make sure I can put the twine in. Let me see. And it's going to be there from the back side. And you see only small things and leftover pieces you can really use a lot. Okay, one more knot. <laughs> Cutting it off, and then this card is done. I can put it in my pocket in a minute. And what do you think? Should I do the same with this one? Yes, why not? But then, well, maybe I do have something else. Shopping, well, <laughs> that is really a good one. The three candlelights, decoration. No, I go for the shopping one. And really, guys, I didn't think about this before I started. I just take it as it how uh, as 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 I'm going along, <laughs> and see what I bump into. Okay, so that one I will put somewhere here. I will do the same. Twine again. Some twine. 
I think I only did it twice, so I'm going to do the same here. Oops, same here. I'm making a little knot. No, oh, it's a little bit too short on one side, so let me see if I can make it work somehow. <laughs> no, we didn't. What did I do wrong? It's not completely tight enough, but it's good for me. Um, make a new hole in this one too. And then there's another little hole in there and a piece of twine which isn't the same length <laughs> but I will figure it out okay a second one here we go Cutting off the longer pieces of twine. So here we go. I've got my pictures from today, the dates, and some space for journaling over here. Uh, now I am going to look <laughs> for the pockets, pocket pages. Where did I put them? And that's one. You see the pieces over here? These are for tomorrow. It's day 21 and something extra I had laying around. Not sure why it's in there, and I'm also not sure if I'm going to use it tomorrow, but okay, this one will be here. Shall we do green on top? Yes, green on top. And tomorrow I probably will glue another card to the back of the paper, so you, it, it covers up the twine in there. So this is it for today. Day 20 already, so another 10 days, 10, 11 days, and the year has been flowing, flowing. <laughs> it went by so quickly. Okay. We're still waiting on baby news, still no baby news <laughs> yet, so I will let you know. You will probably see it on my Facebook or something uh, when the baby is there, but uh, so far, not yet. Okay, guys, this was it for today. Um, enjoy making your own planner pages, your own journaling, your own creative time. And um, I hope to see you back uh, tomorrow. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.